Kowalski. Well, I'm not a legend. Stop it. <laughs> this has all been really overwhelming for me. I don't even know what to say. I wasn't even, I didn't even prepare anything to say really. Uh, but thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the love and appreciation. But if I had one message to say to everybody is that no matter what happens, no matter what they decide, no matter what obstacles we face in our life, never, ever forget that the truth is within all of us. And our lives, our future, are decided by our actions, not their actions. I should probably put on my video glass for those I don't like giving talks. I don't like grandstanding. I'm not going to tell you what I did before. I don't even like being complimented, to be honest with you. I think it would be awesome right now if we could maybe open up a dialogue and have a conversation with each other because it should never be about one man, one person, one human being. Because this is about all of us who are here. All of us here should be equal to each other. We all came out here. We all traveled from all over the world to be here today. And it's just it's just really overwhelming sometimes seeing so many people just being able to look everybody in the eyes and see that humanity, see that human side of everybody. It's really just an amazing and beautiful thing to do. But I would love to have a conversation with you guys on stage if you guys wouldn't mind that. And if you guys have any questions, please do what I do and just stand up and scream and interrupt I've got me. Questions. Go right ahead. I don't believe there is an innate beauty to humanity. You don't believe there is an innate beauty to humanity. <laughs> you have every right to your uh, belief and opinion. I know people may see it that way. I know it's difficult not to see it that way. But whatever happens. Everybody come over there and give this guy a hug immediately. Everybody give this guy a hug right now. Every, I'm serious. Stand up and give this guy a hug. Give him up on your shoulder. That's the best answer anybody can give to someone who has that kind of viewpoint. But it is hard. It is difficult. It is depressing. It is sad. And I get there sometimes too. It happens to me. I get down. I get out. I can't sometimes even, I don't, sometimes in the morning, I don't even wake up facing all the problems we're facing. But one thing you have to realize is your life is determined by you and you only. The decisions you make, the thoughts you have, the actions you take reverberate and they become your life. So be very, very careful about how you think. We could, we could talk about how bad these guys are all day long, but you're feeding into that dark energy. We could call these guys elites. We could call these guys the top of the top. But in all reality, when you face them one-on-one -on -one and you look them in the eyes and you tell them, we know what's happening, they crumble, they blabber, they call security, they call the cops, and they run away. And the reason they do that is because they're weak, pathetic human beings who don't have a soul. The question was, how do I find out where these Bilderberg members, where Kissinger and Rockefeller and Rothschilds and Tony Blair are? That's a very good question. We just made a recent video on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash we are changed. How we confronted Henry Kissinger. Watch that video. But it's really ultimately your determination. If you're determined, if you're persistent, there's nothing that could stop you. There's nothing that's impossible. And I literally, I wish I had more time to do more research so I could tell you some facts or tell you some fascinating points, but I really can't because I don't really have time. Most of my time is on the computer looking up Henry Kissinger, May 2013, New York City. Oh crap, he's not doing nothing here. Then the next month, then the next month, it's most of my work goes into finding these guys. That, and then I don't even have time to research a question because my entire time is spent looking for these guys. If you're determined, you could find it. They're in newspapers. They're in colleges. They're in lecture series. 
You find out what's happening in your area. You find out the schools. You find out their lecture halls. You find out where these people are speaking. You find the most prominent uh, organizations and you look at their websites and then you look for the events and you'll be able to find them. If you're persistent, there's nothing you can't find. Just empty rhetoric. Huh? It's just empty rhetoric. Just you can believe that and you have a right to your opinion and we can have a whole long conversation afterwards if you want. Beautifully, I know that I'm not a shit. Go ahead. I wish I was. Get some money out. I love that. Fuck, didn't it? He's fucked, isn't he? 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 He was, he was just right in front of me. The government's buying water cannons. Okay, the government has a whole bunch of things about us, but what about it? I mean... Okay, the government's buying water theories. Uh, water, water cannons. Okay. I'll find out. I'll be in the G8 in Ireland uh, in just a few days covering the big rallies yeah. that's going on there. One other point I wanted to make is that everything we do is pretty much me and Sierra. We do a lot of the work independently by ourselves. And one thing I wanted to do is to open up the opportunity to do the kinds of things that we're doing to everybody here. And it's very simple. If you guys are interested in possibly making videos or confronting politicians, we're going to make more how-to videos. But if you want to talk to me here about starting an independent chapter or just making videos for another group or organization, whatever it is, the name doesn't matter. What matters is taking action. We Are Change, if you don't know, if, if some people who are here have never heard of it, is about instead of complaining and talking about all the bad stuff and moaning and crying about how the mainstream media is not doing their job, We Are Change is an outlet for saying, you know what, they're not doing their job. But there's a big, huge door here that we could actually do their job for them. We could replace them. We could shame them. We could ruin them. And we could become the mainstream media. And we can actually be the true source of information. And the reason I specifically chose media as a way of expressing myself journalism as a way of expressing everything I wanted to do is because when you provide information, when you research and investigate and show people what's going on, when you're able to, you're able to actually free somebody with information. And then the more information gatherers we have, the more investigators we have, the better society and humanity will be because information is power and the more powerful we are, the less powerful they are. Yeah. Alright, scream out a question, but please make it a precise question. And let me know if I gotta go. Hurry up, come on, go ahead. What is the Bilderberg Group? in one simple phrase. <laughs> you should have been asking Alex Jones that one. Pathetic, slimy cowards who are not even human and have no humanity or spirit inside of them. That's my time. If you're interested in starting a change chapter or interested in making videos, come talk to me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for having me here, and uh, thank you.